This is Nova Launcher Prime by Tesla Coil Software. First tip of Nova Launcher, enable gestures. As you can see, I set a double tap to open Nova settings. If we scroll down and open up gestures and buttons, you see a list of all the available gestures and swipes. From pinches in and out, to single finger swipes, to two finger counterclockwise. Now I'll show you my gestures and swipes. A single finger swipe down gives you notifications. And a single finger swipe up opens the app drawer. Two finger swipe down opens up the recent apps. And a two finger swipe up opens voice search. Now when I rotate clockwise with two fingers I open up the verge. Whilst the two finger swipe counterclockwise opens up quick settings. And when a double tap works, it opens up Nova settings. Now on to transitions and animations. On my home screen, as you can see, I have the accordion effect. Whereas in my app drawer, I have the flip effect. Look at that flip go. Now, there are two versions of Nova Launcher. This is the free version, and this is Nova Launcher Prime, the paid version. It costs £2.50, but it's definitely worth it. Now this little gem here is Tesla Unread, and it's, well, an Unread badge. Now unfortunately, Tesla Unread is only available for Nova Launcher Prime, but like I said, it's definitely worth it. Now we're going to run through a couple of Nova settings here. Now in desktop, I can change the desktop grid to the search box style. Now in the drawer, I can change the draw up grid, the scroll effect, background transparency, draw style, and many, many more things. Now if we go into dock settings, I can actually have up to five of these. Next up is folders. You can change the way they are stacked and you can change the backgrounds behind. Next up is the look and feel. You can change things like the accent color to the speed of the transitions. All right, next up is gestures and buttons. You can set what the home button does. You can set what the default screen is. You can do things like pinch in, pinch out, swipe up, swipe down, Double tap, swipe up with two fingers, swipe down with two fingers, rotate counterclockwise with two fingers, and rotate clockwise with two fingers. Next is unread counts, which is what Tesla unread is for. This next one's actually quite a cool feature. You can back up and import. So if you make a backup like I did here, you can actually restore it, or if you move to a new launcher, you can do the same thing. Alright guys, this has been Dom from My Colour Screen, signing off. Toodle pip guys.